In a narration found in Jami At-Tirmizi, number 1205, the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, advised that the lawful and unlawful have been made clear by Islam. In between them are doubtful things which should be avoided in order to protect one's faith and honor. The vast majority of Muslims are aware of the obligatory duties and the majority of unlawful things, such as drinking alcohol. So these create no doubt within Muslims. Therefore, they should act according to their clear knowledge. Meaning, fulfill the obligatory duties and abstain from the unlawful according to the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon him. All other things which are not obligatory and create a doubt in society should therefore be avoided. Allah, the Exalted, will not question why someone did not perform a voluntary deed. Instead he will ask why they performed a voluntary deed. Therefore, leaving the voluntary action will have no consequences in the hereafter, whereas performing a voluntary deed will namely punishment, reward or forgiveness. It is important for Muslims to act on this short but extremely important narration, as it will solve and prevent many problems and debates. It is important to understand that when one indulges in doubtful or even vain things, it will take them one step closer to the unlawful. For example, sinful speech is often preceded by vain and useless speech. Therefore, it is much safer for a Muslim's faith and honor to avoid doubtful and vain things. This narration also indicates the importance of adhering to the basic and clear teachings of Islam while avoiding things which have not been clarified nor discussed in the two sources of guidance, the Holy Quran and the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. If these issues were important, they would have been discussed in the two sources of guidance. Unfortunately, many Muslims concentrate so much on debating on side issues, issues which will not be questioned about on Judgment Day, that they distract themselves and others from those things which Allah, the Exalted, will question them about. This attitude must be avoided.